That 70s Show, a beloved classic sitcom that centered on the lives of a group of six teenage friends living in their fictional town named Point Place, Wisconsin from 1976 to 1979. But the cast was even more loved. Obviously, they made the whole show. I may not say this right because I am new to English, but she has tremendous breath, yes? The teenage characters consisted of Topher Grace, Mila Kunis, Ashton Kutcher. We're gonna make love, you idiot! All right! <laughs> Danny Marston, Laura Preppen, Wilmer Veldrama, and Lisa Robin Kelly. Hello and welcome back to the drama, where I usually show my face, but I got a chemical pill this week, so I'm shedding like a serpent. If you could please hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment like, no means no, you idiot. Or maybe a keep your hands to yourself, because some people need a reminder. That 70s show is known as an iconic series to many millennials and a staple to the early 2000s nostalgia. A humble and witty show made up of good-natured and good-hearted cast. And these dogs are a holy treasure. <laughs> you wanna rub them? Yeah. Knock yourself out. Until the year 2023, many millennials would be in utter shock that one of the cast members got sentenced to 30 years in prison. So which one out of the six is going in the slammer? Well, you saw the thumbnail. It's Danny Masterson. Where do you see yourself in five years? In prison. Well, that aged almost accurately. Danny Masterson is best known for his role on the hit US sitcom That 70s Show. He's been sentenced to 30 years to life in prison after being found guilty of two counts of RAPE. Masterson learning his fate just moments ago here at LA Superior Court. These alleged actions didn't happen recently. In fact, this wasn't his first run in with these type of allegations. Masterson was first investigated by police in March 2017 amidst the Me Too movement and was even written off from Netflix's show, The Ranch, because of the controversy. Take the bag and disappear or you disappear. Currently, the three women and ex-girlfriend claim that these events happened about 20 years ago. I know many are going to ask, well, why wait so long? Well, according to them, the answer is the Church of Scientology. You've probably heard of Scientology. Why is it a religion? What's it clear? What's it clear? Well, whatever you have heard, if you haven't heard it from us, I can assure you we are not what you expect. Sir, it's exactly what I expected, and more. All three alleged victims were members of the Church of Scientology, as is Danny Masterson, and claimed the reasoning to not go to law enforcement initially came because the church and their teachings discouraged them to. The Church of Scientology believes that we were once godlike and that we have deteriorated over time. The promise of Scientology is that through Scientology counseling called auditing, the person can regain their godlike ability. Now that was from a website that is not too fond of Scientology? According to the official Church of Scientology, Scientology is a religion in its highest meaning, as it helps bring man to total freedom and truth. The essential tenets of Scientology are as follows. You are an immortal, spiritual being. Your experience extends well beyond a single lifetime, and your capabilities are unlimited, even if not presently realized. Furthermore, man is basically good. He is seeking to survive, and his survival depends upon himself and his fellows and his attainment of brotherhood with the universe. The ultimate goal of Scientology is true spiritual enlightenment and freedom for all. There's a lot of talk about us, and we get it. But many have their thoughts on this religion, and the conclusion to them is that it's a cult. The, what, the, the way the organization acts in the world and towards people and towards families, for me, is what makes it a cult. Why is it that uh, you folks have to say that we attack religions when it's only Scientology that we speak out against? Why do you attack Scientology? Because of the criminal activities of your uh, organization? The, look, the only people that attack the church are people that have, are afraid of finding something. It's just the way it is. Did you understand I'm that? Sorry. That's I didn't say it, it quite right. It's always that it way. You're afraid of having something people. found out. It helps people. If you're attacking it, then you're afraid people are going to get better. That's all there is to it. With that being said, though, Many celebrities seem to be part of it. You know what, it's, it's something that has helped me incredibly in my life. Yes. And I've been a uh, Scientologist for over 30 years, so it's a beautiful religion. And I'm very proud. But many have also spoken out after they left the church. The most vocal being Leia Ramini. People ask me, I don't know if they, I'm sure they ask you, that now that we're out of Scientology, do we still think like Scientologists? I think that I still think in Scientological terms, and it's hard for me to shake those things. And I think most people who are in cults find that. Like they don't actually know 
what they think. Who is also suing it and its leaders, David Miscavige, alleging harassment and emotional distress. Celebrity Center is my second home and there's not a person here that I can't go to. Leah Remini spent decades inside Scientology. Remini also backed up the woman's claims against Danny, where she also said it is basically the law of Scientology not to sue each other and not to ever speak to police. Um, yes, uh, Scientology policy is um, should be looked at. Unfortunately, they have tax exemption. Um, but however, uh, this is absolutely true. It's absolutely law. It's absolutely policy of Scientology. I was a Scientologist most of my life. And Mike, uh, the former head of the Office of Special Affairs, um, and that is not her understanding. That is the law of Scientology. We are not allowed to uh, report crimes to the authorities. We're not allowed to sue each other. Uh, so that's absolute law. One woman alleged that Masterson shoved a pillow into her face while R-wording her in 2003. Another woman, Jane Doe number three, claimed that he R-worded her in 2001 while she was asleep. She, along with Jane Doe number two, is also involved in a related civil case against Masterson and the Church of Scientology. Both women claim to be drugged by Masterson. According to one survivor, Scientology officials told her that she would lose her membership of the community unless she signed a non-disclosure agreement and accepted a payment of $400,000, according to prosecutors. But the Church of Scientology made an official statement. Not a scintilla of evidence supporting the scandalous allegations that the church harassed the accusers. Well, eventually, the LA County District Attorney Office opted to try again with a new set of jurors, and all three accusers agreed to testify all over again. During the retrial earlier this year, defense attorney Philip Cohen questioned the credibility of the accusers. Cohen suggested that the woman might have tweaked or maneuvered their stories possibly motivated by hatred, revenge, or of course, money. But that didn't matter to the judge as they cited that since the women were drugged, their ability to perceive the events perfectly could be skewed. The prosecutors also argued that Masterson had relied on his status as a prominent Scientologist to avoid accountability along with his Hollywood power, as the woman came out when he was at the height of his career. Move your hand. <laughs> <laughs> During the trial, Leia Ramini was there with all the victims as the judge allowed them to deliver some impactful statements straight to Masterson himself. One woman said, I wish I had reported him earlier to police. And another woman says, I forgive you. Your sickness is no longer mine to bear. After each statement, Masterson remained perfectly silent. But then it was time for the judge to read Masterson's sentencing. 30 years to life, the judge read, and Masterson's wife would be seen breaking down in tears. After the sentencing, many of Danny's friends were under fire as they wrote character letters to the judge before he was sentenced. Two of them being Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis. This was a huge deal to many people because they claimed to fight for victims. But in the case of their close friend, their letters told a different story. They recently issued an apology. We are aware of the pain that has been caused by the character letters that we wrote on behalf of Danny Masterson. We support victims. We have done this historically through our work and will continue to do so in the future. Leia Romini would post this right after the trial. Sitting in court today with the women who survived Danny Masterson's meditation was a surreal experience. Over the past seven decades, former Scientologists have sadly become used to Scientology using its financial resources, religious protection, and relationships to snatch justice away from them. For over two decades, Danny Masterson avoided accountability for his crimes. While Danny was the only one sentenced, his conviction and sentence are indictments against Scientology, its operatives, and its criminal leaders, David Miscavige. Scientology managed to cover up Danny's crimes crimes with the help of its intelligence agency. These women not only face the living hell of being R-worded, having their R-word covered up by the very organization that promised to protect them, but they have also faced ruthless and criminal harassment by Scientology and its agents since they came forward to law enforcement. The women who survived Danny's predation fought tirelessly for justice. Their tenacity, strength, and courage have given hope to all victims of Scientology that justice is possible. For that, we will be forever grateful. While many are rejoicing about the conviction, many diehard fans of Danny say this is not fair, there's not enough evidence, and the women just want his money. Now that is the story of Danny Masterson, the once loved character on a very loved sitcom, That 70s Show. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Sometimes it hurts when you say my name, but thinking of her.